It adds damage. Our opponent has an empty block meter. Okay, so now we fruitcake. So this is going to be 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh yeah, that's lethal. Wee! Wee! <laughs> There's nothing that goes there. There's no mix up grave digger or anything. Wee! <laughs> and we got him, folks. <laughs> Yay! Wow, that Discotron was actually really good there. <laughs> Guys, listen. <laughs> Hey guys, remember the video from 2018? It was like the best video of 2018. Uh, it was the Hugh Giganticus Conjure Leap Deck that just every game was just this mind-blowing highlight. Well, this is basically that video, but it's with Professor Brainstorm. The amount of highlights, the amount of just insane moments in this video, it was just every game, it was all over the place. I'm really, really excited to show this to you, so enjoy the video, here it is. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today it's February 28th. I don't stream on Saturdays, so that will be tomorrow. It will be Leap Day, February 29th. So everyone's like, Fry, you gotta do, you gotta do an egg leap. You gotta do some kind of leap deck. So I decided that we're gonna try it with Professor Brainstorm, and we have a few new ideas I want to implement. So let's see if this works. Now, uh, the common denominator between all these cards is that they work very well with leaping, because if you play the... Um, interdimensional zombie and then play it into a transformation uh, play basically transformation station the next turn it'll leap that interdimensional zombie to a three cost card and then the transformation station will turn into a four cost card so essentially uh, these two will give you on turn basically coming on turn two will give you a four cost card coming into turn three which is amazing you can also activate uh, him with you one of your science cards like Eureka uh, and then play and then leap this card with evolutionary leap and turn to a four cost card. Same thing with the egg. Now this sometimes turns into a one one, but again you can sort of rectify that by leaping it, putting it in a station. But if this turns to a two cost card, you can then leap it into a three. This is a free card, which is a three cost card, so then you can make it into a four. Um, this is to give us a little bit of control. You're kind of like while you're having things in the field, having these these superpowers are going to be good. You could just be lightning bolting your opponent, whatever they're doing. Uh, this is also again a very good card to leap because you kind of got your value out of it already since it gives you that superpower. Uh, and we got some removal cards now. Uh, I'm running four copies of the Parasol Zombie in order to protect your cards while they're in these stations so they don't remove them. It also is a leapable card itself. It also will protect your cards when you set up for the big turn turn seven. Uh, you can actually set up your minions. Play Brain Vendors, let's say, for free, um, and play Baboon Rising, and they won't be able to like, remove your minions, so that should work pretty well. Baboon Rising is the big win condition card. Let's see if this deck works. I don't know if this deck is going to work, and the reason why I'm a little bit skeptical is because the beginning of the game, I don't know if this is going to be able to sustain. Is Bungie Plumber, Fruitcake, and the powers from Quasar going to be enough to keep these guys in the field long enough to really maintain tempo to hit the Bad Moon Rising? I guess that's the big question, and we're about to find out. Hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Um, worst case scenario, we're going to have a lot of opponents that are able to control our early game, and we're kind of like, the deck's not going to get anywhere. The best case scenario is that this is going to be the highlight deck of the century, so it's definitely worth the risk. Here we go. People are watching from school. Am I disturbing your studies? I feel horrible now. <laughs> Not really. Oh gosh. Uh, I wonder if we have to get rid of Bungie Plumber just to... It's a good card, obviously, on turn one. I mean, we'll probably get some minions coming up. We also have Telepathy and Eureka coming out here. We also have Summoning coming out. Okay, don't want... I'll keep it. Screw it. Here we go. We got Eureka. We'll get... Eureka, there's a lot more... There's a lot more low-cost cards in the game than high-cost cards. So, one mindset for Professor Brainstorm with Eureka is that this accounts for drawing random early game cards, typically. It's a good mindset. Obviously, this can give you 3-7 drops. I'm just saying on average. Good thing we kept that bunny. Don't want these click peas getting all over the place. Ugh. These are gross. If this deck doesn't have to get off early, by the way, we can really start on turn three with a brain vendor or something like brain vendor leap, and it's fine. Let's see what this gives us. This, we should have some some decent early game options from here, and we do. This is cool. I wonder if we'll just these are all like fine. None of these are great, but <laughs> this is fine. 
So we can go Brain Vendor Elite. I think just this is good. This is a 3-4, so it's a, really just a lot of tempo. I don't want to play the Brain Vendor until next turn. Or I'm going to start leaping some stuff. <laughs> he thinks he's going to... Guys, he doesn't know. He's like, smack. I don't know why he smacks himself in the face before he... Is that how he gets ready to dive? He's like, he cures his anxiety by smacking himself in the face. That's like his tick. I don't know. Probably I like your streams. You like PvZ3? I've been enjoying it so far, so yes. So, ooh. Ooh. Look at this play. I'm going. I'm going. Brain Vendor. We'll go Neutron to ping this before anything bad happens. And I think we'll we'll just we'll just play the station here. A second Rotobega and three would be good because it would clear both of these guys. <sighs> it sucks. Was that turn four? Maybe I should have just gone with this. <sighs> I should have played around Shaking Violet, but I'm stupid. So anyway, see you later. I probably should have just gone. I don't know. Has he shown us a super power? See, I only want to play this in the middle lane, but this will be protected better. I kind of want to just do this and leap. Please pit play uh, Bog here. That would be amazing. <laughs> Banana peel to three and then ping it with super? Damn it. <laughs> okay. Is Rotobega good? It's a good card. It's it's a little bit hard because it doesn't hold its lane very well. Any you know, one one will kill it and survive, so that's the problem with it. You always have to have a way of dealing with that problem. Wow, we just froze that. Feels weird, man. So this is fine. I'll leave the two three. I don't know why he moves this. King! That is so good. Look at this. You guys. The king is gonna is gonna trigger. The king is gonna trigger before anything. I'm gonna actually protect the king with this guy. We'll actually be able to leap next turn. This is so good. <laughs> luck score. Okay. Five points of luck for king. This is this is almost impossible. How did I mean? He would need jumping bean. He would need a jumping bean. The king, basically, because we're we're gonna get a knight otherwise, and he can't use even spring bean on it. I guess a jelly bean combo. He needs a minion basically to move in. He got it. Damn it. Super. I'll I'll go with this. But I'll just replay the, the king next turn. Here's seven. Dancer? A one drop wouldn't be bad here. No. <laughs> blow. I'm doing blow, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe playing another environment because he's running these blow leaves is not a good thing. I think we're just playing this here and using Fruitcake or Leap. Actually, I wonder if I should go with the Quasar and just play the power. I mean, if he team ups, I guess then we want to use this this blast. Okay, we want to be able to kill a three four in case it puts a team up to threaten the king. But we want to play the king in this so he's protected by Parasol. <laughs> Overshoot blow. <sighs> this guy should be amphibious. But anyway, what imp? I mean, we didn't get anything. It's really weird. We played Cosmic Dancer and we just. We didn't get anything. I don't. I don't see anything. It's just like a blank card with nothing in it. Useless. What the hell? So he's going after it like that. This is gonna be the knight, which we're gonna then leap later. Uh, it's sad that this dies. Here. Blow will not affect the three five.
How are you clicking a blank card? I don't know. I don't really get it. This game confuses me sometimes. I just realized this guy's name is Despair1. <laughs> oh, here we go! So this turns now into a new card, which is fine, man. We don't need you! <laughs> oh! This, this Octo Zombie slash Plank Walkers gonna do so much damage! Uh, this is the play. We gotta protect you. We'll protect you, and we still have Weep. Weepy Weepy time, babies! Infinity Clones? <laughs> nice. Wow. The Quasar, really. Good card. I love how we have a great use of this 2 too, because we can just leap into a 3 drop. Kind of really good. I will boink you up. You got rid of that one? It's gonna regret that. Yeah, <laughs> freeze. Wee! So Octo Zombie wins, and Plank Walker also wins. In fact, Binary Stars is here, so they both win. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed lethal. Yeah! <laughs> It's so good. It's so great. Ah, what a wonderful day. This is gonna do 16 damage. 16 to face. We're off to a great start, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just make that 15 luck. That was so good. Alright. <laughs> Thank you, King. I think even without King, though, we were in pretty amazing shape there. Let's go. Let's freaking go. No one got Dex to summon. No one cares. Uh, this is fine actually a ra to play around Shrinking Violet. I could, should have like, kept that against the Green Shadow last time. But anyway. Alright. Maybe we'll get Eureka to activate this. Oh baby. So I think we play one, two, three like that. Uh, this should go... Where does this go? It's nice when it's on the ground, because then we can use the transformation stations. I'm kind of playing around. You kind of want this in the middle. This is good for it. It's just considering what does the opponent have to counter this on the ground, which is not much. Bog, but well, that's a good thing, because then we'll just station it. We want the parasol to be in the middle. Uh, so it's going to be Eureka Bungie, probably. here. Please play Rotobega. Please do that. Decided not to. Alright, so it's just this. This actually weeps this twice. So I think it's Steech 20. Welcome to the primary Steech. That's what I'm talking about. <gasps> Here's this. <laughs> it's so sad. I'm uh, gonna have to leap this guy. I kind of like doing this. I kind of like doing this. We can still either leap or they kill the teacher and bomb me. This on heights is actually has an advantage because of Moonwalker and uh, smack yourself in the face, Diver. We, we, the idea is to play this next turn and protect the teacher. We're probably just going to leap. Is this a good leap turn? Maybe I should save the leap, though, because we really... Well, we don't want this, like, getting goatified. We do have Bungie. This is good. Okay, so we always Bungie. The question is, do we leap this turn? I think we have to, because we're not going to be able to next turn. <laughs> and I guess if we can get rid of our opponent's goatify or transmogrify, that's fine. Let's just do this. <laughs> Useless 4-drop, it's so bad. Uh, three points of unluck. Pine Clone's ridiculously good, it is true. Probably haven't played Legends of Runeter in a while. I didn't really quit it, I just don't see it as it being a feature for this channel. I've explained that other times. Okay, I think this is the way. Plays pretty well around shrink drinking violet and which kind of just most of the things Rose has. This is actually a really strong power. Str I was gonna say a strong card against Rose, unless she has. Wow, that's when Chomper is better than Hammer because it can deal with freaking Parasol. I guess it's, I guess if Parasol became meta, then Chomper would become meta. I never really thought of that as Chomper being better than Hammer because it's a minion and not a trick, so it affects them trickable zombies. 
um, quickly, as I've explained, I don't see Legends of Runeterra being a great long-term plan, because I want to play, if I'm going to play new games, I want them to appeal to an audience, a, 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 a larger audience, not just an audience that plays one game. I think this is fine. What is this? We need a leap! We need a leap! Prime I say this deck this needs more leaps. What? I don't know what you're talking about. That's just where I'm uploading longer videos. And thank you so much, Format. This deck needs more leaps, I know, right? Thank you so much, Format. That's eight months subscribing. Really appreciate it. See what this guy does. What? Um, someone in the chat explained to Agro Flare. Okay, I'll explain it really quickly. Prime Up Gaming is is my channel. It's my second channel. You can see that it's actually recommended on the side of my channel feed. Uh, I use it to upload the longer, less viewed videos. I don't know if that's the, the thing here. But again, the long gameplay, full streams that I cut up, like the hour-long ones, I'm going to be on Prime Up Gaming for now. And the, and the short, concise highlight videos are going to be on the regular channel. PvZ Heroes Gaming? <sighs> I, I, I really stay away from politics in general. So, I don't care. Opponent concedes because they're down to two health. Alright, that was a weird game. That one, we really just kept our guys in the field, leaped poorly, were able to bungee plumber and fruitcake his guys. It was really just the parasol zombies? I don't know. Let's just say we're at 18 luck or something. I think whoever is making YouTube content for any game, is it's very good. I don't, I don't think we should get together as a community and say that someone is a disgrace. Unless they're doing something illegal. Unless they're literally just stealing other people's content and, and uploading it or, or something like that. But if they're making their own content, again, my content also sucked right when I started. I'm not saying anyone's particular, sorry, I said also there, that was a bad, that, delete the word also from that sentence. Because I really have no idea who you're talking about. But, um... It, everyone, when they start making content, is less good, and it gets better and better and better. And I encourage anyone who feels like they can stay at it consistently and really has a creative side that they want to make content, then go ahead. Just make your YouTube channel. Don't worry. Don't worry about the views. That's the most important thing. Okay, so here's another one. Is this the same guy? Let's go to the YouTube stream and check the name. No, it's not. I don't think I had a much longer name. Okay, so this is going to go on the ground. This, these guys... These guys go on ground. Oh, he doesn't... Rose also, he could weed whack this. He could go to fight it. Might as well wait till it hatches. <laughs> no! Stupid Suave. You're useless. What do I do here? What do I do here? Okay. Let's just play Quasar and leap it next turn. Okay. This might be useful at some point. If we get a big enough minion this well, this is usually good on... Oh, you're weed whacking that, man. Man, it's bad. Come on, Swabby. You'll kill him eventually. The thing is with leap also... This is not a one cost card. This is a zero cost. At least if it had turned into a one one, like a freaking backup dancer, we could leap it into a two. Now it leaps into a one. <laughs> You're useless. Okay, I'm gonna draw cards. I'm actually gonna station this though. We need something better. Let's go. That's not bad. Not bad! Wow, for a one-drop, that's actually not bad at all. Okay, so we'll do this. This will set up the Brain Vendor in this environment. No, oh, that'll be fine. 
What does that token leap into? Which token is there on the zombie side? The only token... The token on the plant side is the weird, um... Is weird, uh... What's it called? There was a weird interaction with Magic Beanstalk. I forgot what it was. I think it, like, doesn't... What was the weird interaction? I have it in the highlight video. In the Game Mechanics one. It doesn't count as a minion. Oh, Imitator doesn't imitate Magic Beanstalk. That was the thing. So, okay, that happens. Heal that. So he's played Weed Whack, Pass, and Heal. It's untrippable. This is 4 damage. No, it's bad. Need more leaps. We'll do this for now. I love an environment here. We have the fruit cakes, really. Oh, that's cool. This is fun. It'd be nice if this had been on the ground. It's fine. It, it, anything he plays, hammering. He's <laughs> got the un, again. Parasol Zombie is really, really good against Rose. Uh, you know, there's Cobb Cannon and Chomper and minions that take care of your guys, but it really limits all of our superpowers, which are all affecting your guys. This is super fly. Super, super fly. Our opponent will probably go with some Hard to Choke combo next turn. Which is strong. Strong. Here's Leap. Should I save the Brain Vendor for next turn? I think we just leap this. The brain vendor should be played next turn. Why is Rosa bad here? It's not bad. Rosa is a really good hero. Lisa, <laughs> welcome. <gasps> okay, so this will heal for four. So we have brain vendor. We have brain vendor. Bad Moon Rising next turn, which is super fly. And again, the Parasol Zombie is adding so much value here just because our opponent cannot field clear us. We really can't do anything with tricks to affect this. A Cob Cannon would be a little bit rough. We'll still get a double Baboon Rising if it's a Cob Cannon. This is turn 7, so we gotta do this before the dragon happens. Here we go! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Supernova Garg. That's a lot of... No, our, we're down to 7. It's amazing how much damage this deck is doing because of the Parasol Zombies. I didn't realize that we're... The guy's almost dead now. Opponent can Mog or Godify. Got Freeze. Oh, so this will actually heal for 4. It's pretty significant. Uh, so the play's going to be Parasol Leap, I guess. What is... I'm just trying to figure out how to play around Dragon here. I guess this takes out Dragon. We just need six damage. Yeah, Bungie Plumber does a lot here too. What is the best play our opponent could do right now? Heal combo? I guess against heal combo, we don't want Parasol either. I don't think removing our our minions. I mean our opponent has Mog Goat. I'm just wondering, is Dragon good enough here? It is. Dragon here is is so good. Dragon actually does so much healing. I, I have to not play Parasol. It's sad. We're going to get Godified, Mogged, and hopefully be able to push for the win. Okay, that's the play. Alright, so this is these are all five drops. Such a sad moon rising. Um, the one we want to leap, we can always bungee this. What does the least amount of damage? This is the one we're going to be able to protect with the Parasol next turn. So I think we leap this. It adds damage. Our opponent has an empty block meter. Okay, so now we Fruitcake. So this is going to be 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh yeah, that's lethal. Wee! Wee! <laughs> There's nothing that goes there. There's no mix of Grave Digger or anything. Wee! <laughs> And we got him, folks! <laughs> Yay! Wow, that Discotron was actually really good there. <laughs> it's so cool when your opponent plays Astrovera on turn 8, and you, and you like, way overkill them anyway, just because of... Damn, that was good. <sighs> Alright. Not only is this deck fun, but it's... winning. Which is cool.
Uh, that's a that's a damn good hand. That's a damn freaking good. Well, do I look for a, a another leap or a state? Do we need to want two of these? Uh, so. I think we go summoning against Captain Bustable. Has a lot of not only early game threats. That's so good because everything dies to three one, right? But this one draws us a card, a science card at that. I love unstoppable leap decks. That's the greatest thing ever. Okay, so what I'm gonna go is with. Um, we want the Captain Combustible is not gonna really field clear us until turn six. Cherry bomb, which who even runs cherry bomb? I wonder if I want these on the ground because of Leap Station, which we don't have. I guess let's keep everything on the ground as a rule in this deck. It's also, in general, good to put things in lanes 2 and 3, because then you can sort of put your minions in 1 or 4 and manipulate the opponent's block meter. If you have a big minion and they have an empty block meter, you put in 1. If they got the full block meter, you put in 4. So, if this turns to a sign zombie, this would be pretty good. There are plenty of sign zombies. Things this he considers it more dangerous than egg? You have underestimated egg. Draws the card. I guess it's fine. It's a body on the field. It's a very, very leapable minion. So do we go for the leap here or do we go for the quasar play? I think we go for the leap. Now which one is better to leap? I guess this one is. Kind of a waste of a brain, though. I think I'm gonna go with the quasar. Let's see what we get. Evaporate. If he tries to go for a minion trade here, this eventually will come in handy. Please trade. Please trade. Please trade. Yes. <laughs> oh, he has to waste his time to shine. That's actually a very such good thing. This is such good thing, guys. So we can go two and leap the the two drop now. In fact, screw it. I'm playing brain vendor. This is this is gonna be an aggro deck. He's running Bong Choy and Wildberry, so let's just do this. Who the heck is calling me? It's a crane caller. They actually have it, these freaking um, It's these guys who it's these it's these like they, they they're trying to scam it's a scammer. They I haven't gotten calls from them in a few in a few weeks now. I got one yesterday too, around the same time. It's Motel Lady! Should I do the thing where I... See, they don't even talk. It's just a robo-go. What the hell? Do I fruitcake this and give him a card, or do I just leap for my own benefit here? Is taking five damage that dangerous against Captain Combustible? I feel like this fruitcake is going to be more useful later anyway. Plus, this could just turn into Line Dancing Zombie and we'll be... F oh no, it's a 4 drop. Such a weak 4 drop. But anyway, that's not my ringtone. That's the Samsung side sync, the thing I use to mirror my phone onto my computer. That's the ringtone. I can't say my ringtone's any better, but at least it's not that piece of trash garbage. Okay, we're going with this. And we'll just recheck something. This deck seems to just be winning on tempo alone. Okay, now we're free kicking this. So you kind of plan food? <laughs> it's so annoying. Lily, really? He's going for it. So now we're doing six. Another small card would be nice. This actually isn't good. Wow. That sucked. So I think it's um it's this card and evaporate is the way. This is a lot of damage. Should I should I go with evaporate? Or should I go with that? Oh, this is actually bad. Okay. <laughs> we have such big pair. Wow. You know what? That that takes a that takes a pair. Get it? This guy really has a pair of testes. Uh, a brain vendor would be amazing here. Get it? He has a. Okay, stop explaining your joke, Fry. 
Wow, we uh, I want, do we evaporate and leap here? It's probably safer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This blocks. The evaporate doesn't help here at all. Come on, we need some fun! No! Oh, wait, okay, we need, um... We need... We need backup dancers. Yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes, we're alive! Yes, we're alive! Yes! Come on, Gondola, you have to move to the right! Gondola, you move to the right, we win the game! Let's go! Let's go, Gondol! Come on! Go that way! Go! go. Yes! Yes! Yes, it's guaranteed lethal! Yes, we got him! Yes, we got him! <laughs> yes! 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 Ah, oh, my life is complete! My life is complete. That was perfect. Oh, we got exactly the right power. We got the right lanes. We got the right leap minion. We got the right shift! Oh! 50 points of luck. I'm seriously adding adding 50 points of luck. Screw it. It's 78. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was... <laughs> oh, it's going into the highlight reel. Believe you freaking me. Damn. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was... Oh, man. Then that was one of the greatest moments ever. Uh, against Green Shadow. Oh, maybe I should have kept that. Okay, this is fine. Telepathy. <laughs> like last stream, the luck is on our side. Whoa, such click fees. You know what? <laughs> I don't know if I've had an effect on the. I just been noticing since that aggro so aggro green shadow deck. I've just seen so many click bees since then. I don't know. I just try to take credit for everything. Don't mind me, guys. This goes here. Let it blow. That's fine. Ooh. We can't really play the Quasar power, so I think I'm just gonna do this in station. Or 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 fruitcake. Sometimes fruitcaking just to get some tempo here is, is worth it. You're so annoying. <laughs> He's just trying to get magic bean stuff. Come on, give me a two drop. Please give me a two. Please. Too bad we don't have any gargs in this deck. It's still good. It's still a two drop. This will be a three. Uh, we need some bungees now. It's like an all-out, really aggressive bean deck. Yes! One of them bites the dust! That is so good! That helps this play so... Uh, that just makes this all so much easier. Are you freaking kidding me? There's brain freeze power. I think we're gonna stay with the fruitcake, because that'll essentially make a 4-drop on the field. That was so... We're adding, I don't care, 10 points. That was so lucky. That was so good. Man, this is panning out to be one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just upload this instead of the highlight video. Oh, I actually should upload this to the... Speaking of... <laughs> I think I'm actually going to upload this one. I, I think the, the decks like this I'll upload to the Frame Up actual Frame Up channel. That's how good they are. Ah, oh, I think Brain Freeze is, is actually exceedingly good here. Because it just keeps this minion alive. I don't need to feed him a carbon fruitcake. Well, the fruitcake will be better later. If you can get a good Brain Freeze power, just take it when you get a good one. This is a very good one. The guy dies. That's the key, too. Not only does my guy live. This is dead. Okay, here's Leap. Tomb Razor? Tomb Razor is going to be really good here, actually. Um...
Shrinking Violet's not really gonna help. I don't want, I want the Tomb Razor to make a dude though, so we're gonna do this. We'll have Fruitcake or Leap plus a superpower. Bananas versus Rex. That's <laughs> such a good strategy. Not really, Johnny. Not really. Enjoy your magic beanstalks. Might as well put this here for a teleport. This is going to make another minion now. Ridiculous. Let's just leap and fruitcake next turn. That's the problem with investing too many things into one amphibious minion. It's just fruitcake just goes weep. Oh, the excavator. That's actually really good here. It's actually extremely good here. Uh, we'll have this next turn, so might as well go with Parasol. <laughs> we'll just bounce whatever it is off the field with the Excavator, it's so good. Hello. Okay, okay, Boomer. Hello. <laughs> See you later, Click Uh I guess we get rid of the Click See you later! Have a, good, have a nice day! Um... This is fine. Then we'll just do this Babin Rising play next turn. There's no need to start leaping yet. These trade. It's nice having a 4-1, too. I mean, this Excavator really was perfect. It got rid of one, both of the cards. It's a 4-1. Amazing. <sighs> Offensive end. That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> we are like, we are extra protected. So just go for Bad Moon Rising here, because why the hell not? If teleports, we get really everything. Half our minions are just protected outright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really think fruit caking this is the right play, but come on, we have to Bad Moon Rising here. There's no choice. Undying Phil. Oh, look at these sad Moon Rising. <laughs> it's so sad. Uh, we're gonna win, because we have three shots at his face. I guess if he blocks here and freezes this one, we'll be fine. What's in the box? Or like, gets great zucchini? Nope. I missed a fail? Did he use his... Did he use his superpower there? Did he just use... I totally spaced it out. Did he just use his ultimate ability there? He supered the middle lane. I'm so spaced out. You're right. It didn't do anything because it was untrickable. <laughs> I think that's a fail for me for not noticing. The the chat. Thanks, chat. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. My life is complete. This is this is panning out to be the best video of 2020. I can't believe it's been over a year since Conjure Leap. That's insane that it's been over a year since then. Um, <laughs> we'll just make this 99 just because of all the luck and him failing. Uh, 99 luck. I didn't. Uh, uh, 99. Okay, uh, go, 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 go. Beta freaking Caratina. Need some early game. Yes, got egg. Got egg. It's the greatest day ever. This also plays around Spike Weed Sector so well, you just cover it. So nice playing this on the ground. Whoa, it looks like I'm missing a two because I put Coco. I have a little Coco in this gun. That's so funny. Yes, wow, we got a we actually got a three two there. Not only is this a great card to get from Egg, I mean this is a one cost three two conjure the thing, but we'll just leap into a three drop. This really controls them pretty well here too. We could go with Bungie Plumber. Bungie Plumber Telepathy. I wonder if it's worth it. Is this good enough to just keep on the I mean it does three to his face here. We could always leap it. No. Well, he didn't have spike weed, or else he probably would have played it. 
I think I think this is actually correct. We're gonna keep this around for one more turn. I just wanna like get a brain vendor out. Like bleeping a brain vendor is better this next turn. Quasar power is probably better. We just kind of need those cards to set up the next turn. Since we really if we play this, I mean we had telepathy in hand, but it just makes this turn that much better. Um, this wants to go here so we can play the Parasol in three next turn to protect both of them. So we're just going to leap the Brain Vendor now, which again, it's way better to leap a three cost two one. You're so annoying. Um, I think the Cyborg is going to chase this, so I'm going to place this here. Game Mechanics, the Cyborg... This card will be dead by the time that this spawns, so this actually goes here. I almost placed this in lane two, and that would have actually been a fail. I think now it's a... It's a not fail. None of his powers are really going to help him here, right? So he moves the three... T he moves the... That there, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Got it. Leapy, leapy time. You suck. But we do want to leap that. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this here. We're still setting up the parasol for later. Uh, yeah. And we're going to fruitcake the 5-4 to... So it removes a 5-4 off the field. Makes a 4 drop on the field. It keeps the leaping going. What the heck is this? This is what I got from this super. Beta Caratina has the worst ultimate ability in the game. Yeah, it's... Uh, Wait. <gasps> Ghost! What do we get rid of here? I don't see that I have a timer. What do we get rid of here? What do we nerf? I guess damage to our face is the one to nerf. And we'll fruitcake this. Dead Ghost is great! We got Dead Ghost from Egg. It's a 1 cost, 2-1... After the play, it's not like at the beginning of it. It's way better to do this at the end of the turn once they've already played all their plans. Uh, it reduce one of the guys by one and one. Egg is so good. Huh? That's amazing. So this 2-3, which was obviously really bad, at least we'll mitigate the loss by leaping this into a parasol zombie. Hmm, that was nice. So do we go second parasol? Which makes us block more. We can always do the quasar next turn. Maybe quasar this turn's better. It's only a difference of one health. This does get untrickable. I mean, there's a bunch of things we could probably get from Quasar which would help us more this turn. It's not like he's gonna beat this. I think Quasar is slightly better. I hope I'm not mistaken. Nice. If he happens to go after this with a, a minion, let's say, or a team up, we'll keep it around. You're so annoying. All right, it's pass. How many bl blow leaves like you run? We've seen two of these today. That's as many as we've seen all month. Uh, this will be good to set up Bad Moon Rising. Now, this was turn five, so we're coming into six. I can maybe play this next turn. There's Leap Station. Super fly. Well, probably Leap Station. Either one of these leaping into a three is fine. And again, if he removes the ghost, maybe we'll go with Backup Dancers. Actually, we have... Bad Moon Rising on 7, back up Bad Moon Rising on 8. So let's save the back backup dancers to then and just leap something here. Okay, Boomer. Okay. Very nice. Conjures cards. No one cares. Player Leaf Blower with Jumping Bean? I like Jumping Bean better because it's less circumstance. Even though Leaf Blower obviously has better stats. If Leaf Blower would activate on heights, it would be really good. Uh, this is not actually good now. I think we have to go for it next turn. We're getting wrecked here. I don't think we can do it yet. We need to kill this guy. In fact, right now, actually, we're setting up for lethal. So 
So if we play a trick, it's four damage to our face here. None of our superpowers are going to help us push lethal, because it's just card drawers. We're honestly in exceedingly bad shape. We'll probably at least block and survive a turn, but it means we can't play any tricks now. Actually, no, he only does two damage to us on the tricks. Mm, could be worth it. We can't play this. <laughs> we need a minion and a baboon rising and something really good to happen. Uh, this is, does not count as a one drop minion, though. All right, it's possible. If we get a way to remove this 3-1 here with the Quasar, I think we're going to be in decent shape, because we do have Frenzy. Uh, okay, so now what? what's our win condition? <laughs> oh, no. Now we need a Miracle. We're in Miracle mode, guys. We need... What saves us? Undying Pharaoh? We need to leap this twice into Undying, so we need a top deck a leap. What else saves us? Gladiator? Medic? We need a top deck a leap now. Or get something that would kill this guy. Uh, that's it. Alright. <sighs> Extremely unlucky. 13, 13 points of unluck, since that's the official unlucky number of 2020. Damn. Alright. Where did that game go wrong? Oh, yeah, that guy. And below the weeb, please. <laughs> I think I remember you. I don't know why. Anyway, Celestial deck, Fire Eyes sending me a deck. Uh, it's going, it's a King, Teleport, King, Warlord. Yeah, I've made a deck like this before. It's a good deck. I don't know why you're running, why are you running Celestial Janitor though? Hey, it's Clappa! <laughs> the guy I play every day. Uh, this looks like a decent hand. You kind of want to keep a fruitcake against Combustible since he is so dangerous. Is that the real Clappa? This is someone who is from the stream who snipes me on a regular basis. Easy clapper. I wonder if because the height lane is so important in Captain Combustible, should we put, put this in here, put the parasol here, and actually open up this lane to be untrickable. Give me a 2-3, please. I want to be ninja. Any good newcomer decks? Yep. Check out this playlist. It's my favorite playlist. I actually made um, literally 22 new playlists on YouTube recently. I made a playlist for every hero so you can see all the green shadow decks and all the huge giganticus decks, all the spit out decks. So check that out. Just go to just go to my YouTube channel and press the playlist tab and then press uh, the playlist button. Let's see. And then go to Chinatown, you know the song? Wait! Look at Eureka here. Your friend of Clappa? Is he on red? Okay, we got two parasol zombies! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this will be fine. And a line dancing. Well, that's nice. Uh, line dancing? Is that luck or unluck? I can't even decide. I have no idea, actually. Uh. Ah, I think it's like this. I have no idea. Should 
to add both. <laughs> I'll add seven points of, uh, of unluck and seven points of luck. How about that? So we're up to 106. Whee! Have to, like, shrink it for the... So it fits with three digits on the luck score. Huh. No, you're too low. This man is too low, folks. Now it's too high. Now it's just right. Now what do I do? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on today. Oh gosh, you're so annoying. These ledgies are going to be screwing us up. Plus, whatever he got from that fruitcake, I think, cost two less there. So he might have a six-cost dragon just from that. I don't think this game's going very well for us here. Oh, gosh. Maybe he just got all reincarnations, and they all turned into weenie beanies. Every turn. <laughs> Then we will survive! We just got doubled mints, and he could have gotten garbage legies, who knows? I think we're about to find out. If he got a good card, he'll be able to play a 5 or a 6 here. Watch him just play, like, all cats and cucumbers. All in order? Oh. Look! Summoning, summoning. Wow, we got a one health minion. Congratulations. You stink now. He's saving his brain at us. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Now we're really going. Which of these is more dangerous? Like we need to protect our freaking face. Our freaking face. It's not our normal face. It's the other one. No! Okay, we need something with six. What has six attack in the five slot? I guess a helicopter does? This almost never works. Come on, helicopter, where are you? That does not count. <laughs> So this is one of his many legies he got from Captain Cucumber. I don't think we're gonna win this game. Just this feeling that I get sometimes. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna leap it and we're gonna bungee it. And we're gonna try to Batman Rising next turn. I shouldn't have let him know that I have an answer to the 6-1, though. Thank you so much, Bob Hoodie. Leap Baby for Leap. For subscribing, that's two months. Leap Baby Leap is right. Can we get to 150 subs? We're at 142. Let's go, guys. If you want some Discord privileges, subscribers, and you want to play with me during the night streams, hit exclamation point Discord, or however it's spelled. Come on, Fry, just spell. Dis? No. It's more like dyslexia. Did someone do it? Discord. There. Thank you. Thank you, Dandy. I literally typed in Sidcord. Because I I'm dis I'm dyslexic or something like that. Night streams are five AM for you, is that what? Are we gonna win? Did the guy throw his phone into a lake? What is going on? Or is he busy sniping me? We need a leap! <laughs> Thank you, Karen! 13 months. That's what I'm talking about. Old time viewer. Here we go. What happened, Clappa? His Wi Fi died. Uh, I guess that was fun because we got two parasols from Eureka, so I'll keep that in the video. 
Yes, you're extremely old. You're old lady. It just hangs out on Pinterest the whole day. <laughs> Me and Karen are friends. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna get summoning. Let's go. I, I, is backup dancers worth it just to be able to play Quasar on turn two here? <sighs> His game crashed. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Fry, your YouTube stories are so random. Yeah, I know. Last few days just been posting random YouTube stories. It's kind of fun. Uh, we're gonna have to do this eventually, so let's just get it over with. <laughs> there's no, there's no way of dealing with that card. So, I think we go with... You. You. Super, super. Oh, this isn't bad. Wow, this actually sets up a ramp play. We actually have Bad Moon Rising now. If, as long as he doesn't kill this, we have Bad Moon Rising next turn. This is one of the greatest things you can get on turn three. Are you, are you kidding? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's turn, it's going to be turn four, Bad Moon Rising, because we get Encrypt and Brain Vendor. This is the only, the second time in, in, all of playing PvZ heroes that I've seen a Brain Vendor getting encrypted because it has to come from Quasar or Thinking Cap because Brain Vendor and Encrypt, none of the heroes that control Brain Vendor have Encrypt as one of their superpowers. So now we just pass. This will pop up, give us three brains, and give us a BMR. This is the luckiest thing, guys. This is amazing. I'm, I'm adding 10 points of luck just before we even see what's in this... I am so upset. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> oh, no! I am so upset. Gotta free kick this before it's too late. Come on, I'm so mad. I'm adding, I'm literally adding a hundred points of unluck because of how upset I am right now. I just added a hundred points of unluck. I don't think I've ever done that before. This is unprecedented, you guys. I really hope we don't get Shrinking Violet here, or I'm gonna be extremely mad again. Eureka. McKay. How many things have at least four health here? Not a whole lot. I think this is still worth it. Come on, come on, come on. Gatekeeper, let's go. Well, it's going in the fail count, boys. Then. I hyped it up so much, too. Don't listen to the hype, you guys. This is a pretty good play. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, jumping bean. Ugh. I think we have to bungee this just to get a little bit of momentum going. We're still we're still right in this game, but the Batman Rising just takes three extra turns now. Let's go. Barrel roller zombie. I think this is pretty good here. It prevents him from doing a lot of things. If he grows this by two here, we'll bungee plumber it to death. Pirate synergy? <laughs> You're right, we have like a whole pirate deck. What the hell's going on here? I don't have any of these cards in my deck. This one came from a leap, I think. This one came from a... <laughs> You're so annoying. Oh. Wow. And we don't have enough for the environment now. Thank you so much, Yami, my mommy. Welcome to the family. Damn. Should I just go for Bad Moon Rising here? I don't even know what to do. We only have one minion plus Bad Moon Rising. Should I just go for the pirate play? I really don't know what to do here. I think we set up Bad Moon Rising for next turn. No! That was not good. We're almost dead. This is cool, because now this stays on the field. Pretty good, actually. It's probably That might be the best 3-drop we could get there. We can't Bad Moon Rising yet, but we can chump lock this guy. Actually, can we? We need something that survives 6 damage here. Which I don't think is possible. How do we survive this damage? Bungie doesn't help. Actually, if we get a... If we get a lightning bolt, we're good. We basically need some kind of lightning bolt power. I think YouTube just died. No, it does not help. Do we lose? Or, ch uh, no, Chop wouldn't have helped. Damn. Alright. Ten points of unlock. <laughs> it's just brain in it. Just to clinch it. Just to freaking clinch it, folks. He is protected! <laughs> I think I'm definitely uploading this whole stream to the regular Frame Up channel tomorrow. Oh man. Alright. Keep, Keep it going. We're gonna we're gonna play one more game here. This is gonna decide if this deck is, is worthy. If you had double plumbered the dino, it would not have grown. You're right. I was planning on plumbering it next turn. I thought I would have needed my own tempo in order to even just last in the field. I probably should have double plumbered it, though. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. What's worth more? Him not having a dinosaur, I have a way of killing it next turn, or me having a four drop in a transformation station? It's tough. All right. That's a good hand. <sighs> How to make a renewal of your monthly sub. So if you're subbing with money, like a paid subs, so you can make it a monthly renewal. If you're subbing with Amazon Prime, they don't let you do that because they really, Amazon just loses money on Amazon Prime subs. It's just a benefit. So you actually have to come back and resub every month. Uh, we'll go with something. It's better than I care. 
fire eye? Was that you? No. Oh. Getting sniped. This is really good. Because the bungee plumber will basically finish this off next turn. I think dinosaurs and then bouncing. I have a beta carotene deck like that, actually. Did pretty well. This is definitely not how you ducky. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Problem is, what if he black eye peas here? What if this turns to dead ghost? Where? <laughs> Why are you so weird? Yay, mommy. <laughs> so bad. What's in the box? At least trade with the Torchwood. Give us superpower. Ooh. Should come in handy. Just something with the re-attack would still kill this, but otherwise. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now what are you gonna do? Thank you so much, and ghosts for the 120 biddies. It rings for at 200 bits, by the way. Just saying. Brain Vin da da da. So we can do. I want to play around Shrinking Violet a bit, though. I don't think we can afford to. Developing our own tempo is priority at this point. See, this this actually trades. This will have one attack next turn after the Torchwood dies. What the hell? Let it blow! Give me Quasar back. Actually, it's not necessarily good. So this always happens. I think this is fine. Gets rid of a 3-5. This doesn't lose attack here? That's so weird. Why does this not lose attack? I guess because it grew once already, so that's its base attack. I guess the... Right, the reason it had attack had nothing to do with the Torchwood. Oh, that that sneezing is actually pretty good here. So we get a superpower, super fly, super duper duper fly. If I play this, I think I'm playing too hard into shrinking vial. If I play this, it's also better later because Bed Moon Rising. <sighs> Do you need to use Amazon Prime to get into the Discord? No, any kind of sub works. You just gotta link your Twitch account to your Discord once you subscribed in any way. Either one of those sub methods. You get the job done, folks. <laughs> Enjoy your fruit. Enjoy the fruit. You super. Do it. So we get a 5 drop now. Really nice. Another Quasar. Cool. The superpower should come in handy here just to activate this, uh... Give me a lightning bolt! Damn it! <laughs> this is useless. Such uselessness. Wow. We can at least evaporate that next turn. So, is Bad Moon Rising even the play? If he supers this, it's definitely not the play. That's all I have to give him. This evaporates pretty pretty strong too. I, I I think we do this. I think he's gonna clear our field here. You think we have to bad moon rising before it's too late? Like we can always do this later. In fact, this will suck something in. I don't know. That's tough. I just if he plays dragon next turn, we're so dead. I think this is still the way. Oops! Oh, I screwed that up. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. The order does not matter that much. 
We're doing so much damage to him this turn. We're also drawing a card here. We're doing enough damage to him, I think, to make this worth I don't think Dragon's really going to go that far. You connected Discord to your Twitch, and you still didn't get an invite? What kind of sound was that? Okay, so these trade. Oh, why does he have three Peter? No one likes three Peter. <laughs> Barrel? It's actually good. Get frozen! <laughs> That's kind of cool. See, now he's gonna go after the barrel and we're just gonna bad when rising him. <laughs> so funny. See, the barrel is sticky. If you remove it, it creates another minion. So, it's pretty good card for a Bad Moon Rising setup. I could have done three bullseye instead of two regular. You're right. You're right. I screwed it up. Let's go! Give me something. Give me an A-drop. I want a Zamba. Good enough. Blocks. Oh, it hurts. And Biggin kills the 4 4. Pretty sad when rising. Just freeze. Okay, so we get a 7 now. The 7 6 is dangerous. Look at this thing. Leap! It's a wannabe. Yeah, this is the play, and we're leaping this one. I don't. I mean, if he gets plant food and we get Octo Zombie, then and he rolls doesn't roll three and a two, then we win. So I think we play this. He well, I guess I could have just as well played it here. Huh? Didn't have it. Didn't think so. Come on, we're the Plank Walker. Give it to me. Damn it. Okay, we still win. <laughs> we still win. Oh no. Oh no, it doesn't do a frenzy! I'm so stupid! Did I just lose? Oh, I forgot it! I forgot it gets frozen! I'm so dumb! I'm so dumb! Oh, Fry, what are you doing, Fry? <laughs> I'm so stupid! We need to roll a three and a two now. And then we get Zombot. Oh, come on, please block. Please redeem me. I have redeemed me, RN Jesus, for I have sinned. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Hallelujah! I will never stray from your path again, RN Jesus. Hello, Zombot! Ah! Uh. Surprise, mother. 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 Father. Okay. Don't screw this up, Fry. <laughs> don't screw this up, Fry. Fry, don't... <laughs> we're going for Bad Moon Rising. I, I know Parasol is the correct play, but what fun is doing the right play when you have one more Bad Moon Rising? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I said I wouldn't. I said I wouldn't do it. I'm an instant sinner. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> wrong order, and <laughs> here we go, here we go, Bad Moon Rising them right in the face, right in the, yeah, yep, that'll do it. <sighs> Thank you, RN Jesus. I will make this stream a tribute to you. You have guided us on the way of enlightenment. You have led us through all of our mistakes. And have redeemed us. I think I have like a reverse messiah complex. I don't know what's going on. Alright guys. The final luck score is 420 to 130. I think that definitely made up for all of our lost luck in this stream. That was absolutely amazing. I think you thwart animal. Welcome to the primary. Patreon guys. Anyone who wants access to the Discord. Thank you guys so much. Really, no pressure to anyone. But really appreciate everyone who subscribes on Twitch. Subscribes on YouTube. 
And uh, Patreon link is in the description below. Anyone wants to help buy my baby some food while I make content for you guys. Uh, this is obviously going on YouTube. Like this is going on the Frame Up channel because even though I'm typically not going to be doing the long streams there, screw it. This is <laughs> so amazing. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. This is Frye.